My name is Perry Rasso, and today we're going to read Ali the Oyster. Once there was a young oyster named Ali. He loved to drift with the currents of the Chesapeake Bay where he lived, but only Ali had been traveling his whole young life. He wanted to settle down. He wanted to do something important. As he swam, in a warm current, Ollie spied a blue crab in a bed of seagrass. Hello, Mr. Crab, said Ollie, but the blue crab hardly noticed Ollie. He was far too busy. What are you doing? asked Ollie. The blue crab stopped his work for a moment. I can't talk now, little oyster. I'm very busy. I have to clean up this carry-on with my pinchers. Carry-on? asked Ollie. Yes, there's plenty of carry-on in the Chesapeake Bay, like dead fish left behind by the fishermen. I am lucky though, because for me, carrion is a yummy food. I can help clean the bay just by eating. And the blue crab reached out with his large pinchers, grabbed some food and put it in his mouth. That sounds very important, said Ollie. Can I help? No, said the blue crab. You do not have pincers like I do. You cannot help me clean the bay. Ollie felt very sad. He left the crab and moved with the water's current. Soon he came upon a sea cucumber on the sea floor. Hello, Miss Sea Cucumber, Ollie said. How are you? Miss Sea Cucumber was very busy picking up sediment with her fingers. Very well. She said between mouthfuls of dirt, what are you doing? Ollie asked, cleaning. She said after a quick gulp, there's animal waste in the dirt. But I am lucky because for me, it's yummy food. When I finish my meal, I leave clean sediment behind. That sounds very important, said Ollie. Can I help? No, said Mrs. Sea Cucumber, wiping her mouth. You do not have fingers like I do. You cannot help me clean the bay. Ollie was very sad. He left the Sea Cucumber and continued on his way. Soon he saw a barnacle sitting on the hull of a sailboat. Excuse me, ma'am, said Ollie. Are you cleaning the bay? But Mrs. Barnacle was very busy swishing her feet in the water. She stopped when she kicked Ollie by mistake. So sorry, little oyster, she said, but I am very busy cleaning and I did not see you. What are you cleaning, Ollie asked. He did not see any carrion or animal waste. I'm cleaning the water. I use my feet to grab detritus that floats by. Detritus, said Ollie. Yes, tiny bits of plant and animal remains that float in the water. But I'm very lucky, because for me, detritus is yummy food. And she swished her feet, catching the food before tucking it into her mouth. That sounds very important, Ollie said. Can I help? No, you do not have legs and feet like I do. You cannot help me clean the bay. Ollie was very sad. He left the barnacle behind and swam onto the current. Yeah. Soon he came across a sea urchin sitting on a rock. Hello, Mr. Sea Urchin. My name is Ollie. But Mr. Sea Urchin was making a noisy racket and did not hear Ollie. Excuse me, Ollie called out. Are you cleaning the bay? Mr. Sea Urchin stopped his work. Why, of course, he said. I'm scraping this rock with my strong teeth. Why, asked Ollie. Is it dirty? Yes, said Mr. Sea Urchin. It is covered with small plants called algae, which are very slippery. Sea animals cannot settle on rocks that are slippery. So I clean the rocks with my sharp teeth, but I am very lucky because for me, algae are yummy food. Show us the picture. Oh, nice. That sounds very important, said Ollie. Can I help? No, you do not have sharp teeth like I do, said Mr. Sea Urchin. You cannot help me clean the bay. Ollie was very sad. He felt like he would never find a place to settle and do something important. He left the noisy sea urchin and swam over something he had never seen before. He saw rows and rows of oysters just like himself. Why do you look so sad? asked an oyster sitting close by. Hello, Mr. Oyster, said Ollie. I am sad because I don't have pincers or fingers or sharp teeth or legs and feet. No, you don't have any of these, said Mr. Oyster. You are an oyster just like us. Why don't you stay here? We will have many friends as we all stay here together on this reef in one big community. You don't understand, said Ollie. I want to do something important. Important, said Mr. Oyster. 
Yes, Ollie explained. I want to help clean the bay, like the blue crab and the barnacle and the sea cucumber and the sea urchin. Why, little oyster, you clean the bay every time you breathe, said Mr. Oyster. Look, he said, see the cloudy water? When bits of debris and algae float in the water, they can block the sun and smother sea life in the bay. So I opened my mouth and let the water pass over my sticky gills. I trap the debris and leave clean water behind. But I am lucky, he said, because for me, floating debris is yummy food. Ali was amazed. He realized that he had been cleaning the Chesapeake Bay all along. He settled into the oyster reef with his new friends and began filtering the cloudy water with his breathing. Suddenly, he felt very happy and important.